everyone, thanks for tuning in. It's Michael with Color Cubic, and I'm back again with another quick tip tutorial. So in this tutorial, what I'm gonna show you how to achieve is to navigate your 3D model in Cinema 4D using three simple keys. To shift, you know, to pan, to shift, left and right, up and down, to orbit or rotate around your 3D model, and to zoom in and out of your model. So it may seem like uh, you know, the, these tips or these little shortcuts don't really add a whole lot to your process, but they actually do. These simple tips and tricks really add up as time savers. So at the end of the day, you're not spending an exuberant amount of time trying to figure out how to navigate this program. Instead, uh, you know, it becomes second nature to you. So with that said, uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so we're in Cinema 4D R19, and what's nice about this process is that this will work across any version of Cinema 4D that you're using. So with that said, let's go ahead and come up here to the Primitive tab, and let's just click this cube so it enables a primitive cube onto our scene. We're going to be utilizing the one two and three keys on your keyboard and they're really in the same order that these are laid out in so the one key is the uh the panning or shifting key so left or right up or down the two key is for zooming in and out of your object and the three key is for orbiting or rotating around your object all you need to do is hold down the one key and then click with your mouse to drag to pan or shift, whatever you want to call that. But you have to hold down the one key and click and hold down with your mouse to do this. Uh, to zoom in and out, uh, now this is really effective for those of you who uh, are, there. you're not utilizing a mouse, you're utilizing say like a, a Wacom a stylus or pen. You want to hold down the uh, two key on your keyboard and then uh, click and drag to the right to zoom in and then drag to the left to zoom out. You can also drag upward to zoom in and downward to zoom out. So that's a little more intuitive. Um, and lastly, you want to hold down the three key and this will enable the ability for you to orbit or rotate around your object. So hold down the three key and then click and drag with your mouse to rotate around your object. Uh, some people call it or orbiting uh, I call it rotating. I don't it really doesn't matter uh, whatever you want to call it. You're you're rotating or orbiting around your object. So by doing this, you can hold down the three key, and then depending on where you click with your mouse, that's where the center axis of your orbit or rotation will be. So like up here in this corner, I want to rotate around this corner. I would click with my mouse at that corner, click and hold it, and drag with my mouse or with your Wacom stylus or whatever stylus you're using. Um, what's interesting is you can also use the Alt Option key on your keyboard to achieve the same, the same thing with orbiting or rotating around your object. But yeah, that's it. Simple video, not too long. Just wanted to share that with you because uh, little things like that, they definitely add up and they make a difference when um, you, know, you have a lot of modeling to do, whatever it is. Uh, you want you want to keep that process as easy and as intuitive as possible without uh, having to break away and come up here to you know to do the same thing that you can with just utilizing the one two or three feature. So uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave your questions and comments in the comments section, and I'll try to get back to you as promptly as I can. Uh, thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you soon.